We are at war. Nevoa has officially declared war. I'm on my way to meet with Andre in Ilios because um, everything is happening really fast. Very, very fast. This is looking incredible. Hello? Hello. How are you? I'm good. Other than waking up to war, I'm good. Mm hmm. Yeah, I was kind of quite surprised by that, actually. Yeah, I was thinking we would beat them to declaring war, but here we are. Really? You guys were planning? Yep. We've both been planning for like a few weeks now. All of us know oh. what's going to happen. It was just a matter yeah, of time. Yeah, of course. It was just a matter of time. Ilios is looking amazing, by the way. Yeah, we added uh, our big library there. So what did you want to talk to talk about? Uh, well, I'll just cut straight to the chase. Whose side are you mm -hmm. on? It really depends on who's in the right in the current war. Who's in the right? Listen. So, yeah. they We've been fighting over this. All, all of it started because of this mountain. There's a mountain in between us that both of us wanted. We signed a treaty with each other saying that neither of us would get the mountain, but then we both mutually decided we wanted it instead. So, mm -hmm. in that regard, it's not like one of us has more of a claim than the other. That's pretty much mm -hmm. on the same page. What I personally am highly suspicious of uh, are all the meetings that Navoa has carried out without us. Uh, you included. They've had meetings without you, where they've talked okay, about been, defense. We've been talking about, because my embassy, it's a problem. They don't like it. And, like we, There's been threats going around. Like, massive threats, I mean, like... You're not going to get any threats from us, first of all. Yeah. But secondly, that meeting that they had in the Domus that both of us were excluded from, um, yeah, we had... in the Domus? Yeah, in Antium. They had that meeting between them, Kalisher, Momfiel, uh, Cosbian Empire. It was everybody except for us. What? Yeah, we had a spy there, though. The, they told us that they were talking about... The first part of it was just trade, but the second part of it was defense. They were telling everybody that they needed to set up a wall to prepare. Um, and Are you sure this source is reliable? They've helped us with everything else without pause. They haven't given anything away. I feel like we would know if they had given stuff away. Malagrad, right? It isn't Malagrad, but I'm not going to give away who it is just yet because oh. I don't feel like... Yeah, yeah. Oh, of I course, of course. I'm suspicious that... If Navoa actually does beat us, they're not going to stop there. Mm -hmm. It feels like they're very intent on spreading as far as they can. It seems like they're quite warmongering right now. Cause they didn't did they list like a proper Casus Belli that's like defined in the treaties or not? I don't think so. Oh um, yeah, I don't think so. Their their Casus Belli was that we built a tower too close to them. Um I don't think that's prob I don't think that's you know, if you guys really want to try to strike them down, you could you could you, you could bring it up in the court system. Yeah. I know Ilios would go for you. Because that, they didn't list any like real cause of spellies. If you just go to the court system and bring it up in the international court, it, pretty much everyone should side with you. I'm suspicious that they've already gotten to other places too much. I feel like you would side with us. Um, well, with, with everything that Dave said to me in the past couple days, definitely. I'm what was Tim talking about when he was here? Tim, he wanted to discuss about us getting back together. You know, you know what's what's a good thing about this is I'm technically still allied with, with Nevoa. Yeah, they still have they haven't broken it up yet. So, but they're they're really keeping me out of the loop. In terms of alliances, then, can we trust you? That's up to you. Would you consider yourself trustworthy? Yeah, I would like to. You know, there, there's one rumor I've heard going around in Nevoa. I heard um Rebel and then um what was it now? And War Plans. Some, something like that. I, I don't remember 100%. That was like a, like a couple days ago. It, it's a sketchy situation now with everyone. It's very so, sketchy. You know, I still don't know who, who Cosby is with in the war. I'm guessing Nevoa since I haven't had much contact with them. No, they're with us. But don't tell anybody. Oh, it's, a, it's a hush hush. Nivoa, Orch specifically, was the one who called the international meeting. The second meeting where you led it went like much more 
amicably because a lot of the stuff that they were saying that Navoa specifically was suggesting was way too it Controlling? was that it, yeah it was them overreaching it was them setting what was basically like international laws which i feel like most people did not catch on to in the moment but it made me feel really uneasy because they were trying to push yeah. very hard for like setting laws that they came up with for every single nation to follow not just like we agree to these peace and war terms but like here's laws that we're proposing that mm. everything should follow it that tone changed in the next meeting when they weren't there as much yeah when they weren't really running it i just didn't want to say anything because i didn't want to like make it a big deal then but that combined with them meeting with everybody and excluding the two of us it, that that it's really kind all... of scared me i'm not gonna lie yeah it's um, all really suspicious like we're pre we're like i want to say we're preparing for war but like we're not afraid to go to war. The other thing, um, if you happen to know of any correspondence that Matt has with Navoa in the future, Matt, let me know. Stardew Matt. Yeah. Um, I don't think Matt really wants to get into this. I'm, I'm not going to lie. No, but he Something. will if he's hired. But he will he will play both sides. He'll let them hire him too. And if they do, I want to get ahead of it. So then moving forward... We'll consider you an ally if you hear anything about anything. War plans, stuff with Matt, stuff with Monfiel, let us know. Mm -hmm. Just be careful with, with Nivla. Yeah. Okay? Just absolutely. Don't that. I feel like we can trust them. I am not trustworthy of most people here, but Andre, I'm hoping, I'm praying that we can trust him. <laughs> what the hell? So here's what you need to know. Matt, the Wanderer, is obviously a, uh, a neutral third party who doesn't really pick sides. But um, Agila found out that he agreed to spy on us for Navoa, which means that he has uh, basically a kill order <laughs> on his head, which he doesn't want to be there, and I'm willing to negotiate. Agila did not give me permission to do this, nor did he ask me to do this, so I'm hoping that he likes the result. He cancelled the contract essentially the second he took it. Does Navoa know that? Alright, Matt. Can you keep a secret? Hmm. Something that Agila can't know, so if you cannot keep that burden, I won't give it to you. I can keep it. What? How do I know you're telling the truth? Hmm. So here's my offer. If anyone hires you to spy on, trap, or assassinate anyone in Grimsburg, I want you to sabotage it. <laughs> Even though today is not the day I go home with Pig Step, I at least got to pick a music disc for Matt. I took Chirp because he offered to give me one for free. And then we started the war preparations. And it is important to note here that our new fourth member from the end of last week uh, defected from Grimsburg, and then I think went to Ilios, and then to Malagrad, and then left the server entirely. So we are back to just three members.
here we are. Eagle Frost Keep. Oh, it's all going to be happening so soon. We will win this. I know it. I have a hunch. We got this. Yeah. We just need um, Pancake to show up. I don't know where he is. Or Ben. Andre went somewhere too. Yeah, he's. I think he went to um, Elio's for one second. I wonder where Pancake is. What was Tim talking about when he was here? Tim, he wanted to discuss about us getting back together. <laughs> you know, you know what's what's a good thing about this is I'm technically still allied with, with Nevoa. Yeah, they still have. They haven't broken it up yet. In terms of alliances, then. Can we trust you? That's up to you. Would you consider yourself trustworthy? Yeah, I would like to. We're like, I want to say we're preparing for war, but like, we're not afraid to go to war. I am not trustworthy of most people here, but Andre, I'm hoping, I'm praying that we can trust you. I think Andrew just betrayed us. So both Cosbia and Ilios were betraying us. So we, it's just us three, uh, apparently. I can't believe I, I gave seven and a half netherite ingots to Cosbia. Only for them not to even participate in the war. But we will fight. It's okay. We will fight. Don't lose hope because I think we got this. Alright, it's only us three. <laughs> even the phantoms are allied with Nevoa. The only people we the only people we can trust is each other, you know. Why is everyone against us? Nivo is clearly the bad guys here. I think yeah, it's because we yeah. we got stuff and we expanded fast. Yeah. There's lag oh. It's lagging. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh really my god. Really Alright, seems like an intruder is down there. He has multi shot multi shot. Okay, I keep hitting him. He's Let's not just kill him, man. <laughs> he shot himself. Oh my god. Advancing, they're advancing, like Yeah. You know what, screw it. Go, go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Sorry, strength, for strength. Oh my gosh. The fireworks are so annoying. They destroy the board completely. This is... Oh my wow. god, I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh, shit. They got me. They got me. They got I'm me. all the way I'm all the way back home. Oh no. Oh, no. oh I, forgot I forgot to say. I've been killed guys. Okay. I'm at one heart. Alright, go. Wait, do we have a bed here? Does that spawn? Oh, I'll get one quickly. Um, they're through. Yeah, let's get walls. Oh no. Oh my god, I'm about to die. Okay, I have a bed. Alright, I got a bed. Uh...
Yep, I'm dead. I'm second life gone. All right. Oh. Uh, Let's get up to the hill, guys. Come on. Get up here. I'm coming. I didn't even have a chance to set my spawn. Orch is not taking up that for Bad internet. I don't know. Oh my god, he tried. Either hacks or he has bad internet. <laughs> We gotta kill him at least one time. I was so close to killing him then, but then he got backed up by someone. I'm about to die this time. Alright, I got one out of the way. They've pushed us all the way back here. Oh my god, I'm at spawn. <laughs> no. We killed us so bad, they, they kill us so bad that they shoot us through spawn. This is like manhunt, but with me, and I'm gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> do we surrender now? I don't want them to destroy the city. Yeah, is it worth it? Like, through. they'll take all of our things, and, like, we'll have to get all the armor again. Okay, let's surrender then. Yeah, they're looting Grimsburg and burning it now. Burning it? Yeah, yeah. They literally just said in the chat, "We are lo looting and burning Grimsburg." They're, they're they're in my house. They're looting. They blockaded your house. I mean, there's nothing valuable in my house. Yeah, they've taken everything. Not the villagers. Those took forever to get there. Oh my god. Are they killing them? No, they're letting them out, I think. Oh, oh no, they've left them in, but they've destroyed almost all blocks around them. Oh wow. They still. Wait, it's part of the treaty that we have to become a democracy. No! He's destroying my home! Oh, I should not have trusted Andre. They've just stolen everything. Have they gone down to the villager hall? Do you know? I hope not. I really. Do you hope think not. you can get down there first and take back the diamonds? Or emeralds. Okay, I'll go try and get them. There's also a no Sharpers grief. 3 knockback too. They've already been griefing. <laughs> Return all stolen goods. Yeah, true. You're right. Andre is acting like he did something when all he did was betray us and then he just hid, he didn't even fight. They broke into Honeybank? Are you kidding me? They took the gold block from here as well, and broke stuff up there. Okay. Why'd they have to break those? Literally, what's the point? Mark my words. Andre, if it is the last thing that I do, I will make sure that he burns for this. I don't... I don't trust easily, and I actually almost trusted him. And this is where it got me. 